Hello everybody and welcome to my channel, I'm Chief Sweet. Today, we're gonna build a PC and I'm gonna teach you how to do it. So recently, I just got my hand on a bunch of new parts. We got a Ryzen 7 3700X, uh, 32 gigabytes with two 16 gigabyte sticks, 3600 speed RAM. We have a two terabyte Seagate Barracuda. We have a 970 SSD M.2. This is actually my first M.2. I've never used M.2. I've actually used, I'll show you. I've used this, this is what I usually use. This is a 240 gigabyte Kingston solid state drive. It's a SATA, but it is only, it goes for about $25 now that PC parts, we'll get into this as well. Now the PC parts are going a little crazy, I think it was 30 bucks, I picked it up for $29.99. It kind of fluctuates between there, $24.99 uh, and $29.99. Got it for $29.99 anyways, but this is for another build. An X570 motherboard MSI, an Eclipse case, this is the box for the case. We'll get into the case too, I got it. I went overboard, I usually never spend above like 80 bucks for a case. I'm really cheap on how I build things, but uh, this is Joseph Biden's Stimmy money. And when I got the Stimmy money, you know, it's just it's free. So I was like, you know, I'll just treat myself a little bit because some of these parts were a little bit more expensive than they usually run for, but it's just Corona time. I mean, it's not actually, it, I don't know what it is to be honest with you. Second year of the apocalypse, let's go. Um, also got a 750 watt coarse air power supply. And we're gonna, if you've never built a PC before, that's what this is all about. Now for PC builders who've done this before, you're probably thinking to yourself, but where's the graphics card? And that's exactly what I ask myself every day when I scour the internet and try to find one. So if you are new, what is happening, the only thing we're missing right now is a graphics card. And I don't know what's going on, scalpers, uh, trade, I don't know what's happening, but graphics cards don't exist anymore. It's like a unicorn. And if you find one, oh my God, just buy it. Unless it's ridiculous amounts of money, which is almost always the case. Um, they don't exist, it's crazy right now. People are buying GT 1030s, uh, 710s just to get by. It's unreal, talk about the one gigabyte of VRAM. What is happening? It is truly a crazy time. However, I already have a PC and it has a GTX 1078 gigabyte uh, in it. So we're gonna take that and put it into the new build until I could get my hands on a graphics card. So today I'm gonna show you how to build a PC with a graphics card, but the graphics card is already mine. So it's not a brand new unboxing of a graphics card. So I hope you enjoy and hope you will learn that building a PC is very awesome, very, very fun. It's like crack. I mean, once you try it, you're not gonna stop. You're gonna be trying to get all your friends to build a PC. And it's very easy. Like I said, all the pieces I just showed you, what is it, like seven pieces, eight pieces? I don't know. I don't math, I build PCs. But it's just a couple pieces. It's like Legos. It's the funnest thing ever. Let's get into the video, shall we? So let's go ahead and open up the motherboard. I'm very excited. Um, I did go with the X570 chipset. Also, the reason I didn't get a 5000 series uh, AMD processor is because it is $200 cheaper right now and I was just fine with the 3700X. All right, let's open her up. Oof, I'm so excited. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's a beauty. So when you open the motherboard up and you take it out of the box, go ahead and set it on the case, you're probably gonna find a little DVD. Now this DVD, don't worry about it. It says um, dri drives and utilities, and most of the time you're not gonna buy a DVD drive because come on, we live in the 21st century now. Uh, this is all online on their website, so you can just throw that aside. All right, now let's open it up, take it out of this little shield here. She's a beauty, she is a beauty. All right, so I have a Ryzen 7, so we're gonna go ahead and keep these on here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and open up our Ryzen 7 next. Now, one thing I always hear about is applying thermal paste to your CPU. You don't have to worry about that because almost every CPU comes with a thermal paste pre-applied. And if you do have to apply it, it's not that bad. It's actually not bad at all. It's just a little common myth everybody gets scared of. All righty, there is the CPU right here. Oh, very tiny. I bet you wasn't expecting that little sticker for you as well. So this is the case fan that it comes with. It's already pre-applied thermal paste. There it is. Look at that. Bam, it's a beauty, it's a beauty. All right, so what we're gonna do now is you're gonna go ahead and take this little bar and you're gonna pull it back. It's ready to go. And then find your arrow, which is up here, top left. And you're gonna find the arrow on the CPU and you're gonna drop it in there. All right, so we have the CPU, the arrow is down here. We're gonna go ahead and turn that with the arrow on the motherboard. Line those up, and it just falls right in, just like that. If you just go ahead and push it down after that, bam, it's done. Now it's time to put the cooler on. So let's go and take this out. Here we are. This is the cooler, which I have actually never installed one of these coolers. I can, as you can tell, this thermal paste is already pre-applied. All right, so now we're gonna put the cooler on the CPU, and it has little clips on the side, as you can tell right there. You're gonna line that up with the ones on the uh, the um, 
motherboard. So there we go. Now we're gonna get on this side. I'm gonna see if I can. I'm gonna turn it this way. You have to find the hole. There it is. It's clipped on. And then on this side, we're gonna push down to put it on the other one. So now we have the cooler attached to the motherboard. We're gonna go ahead and connect this to the motherboard now with this little header right here. If you look at it, you're gonna find CPU fan. You're just gonna plug that sucker right in there. And it should just fit. It already has a little slot for it as well. Bam, it's ready to go. Look at that, it's plugged in. So this does come with two uh, extra cables. We're gonna be using this one. This is gonna control RGB. That's right, everything has RGB, can't you see? We're gonna go ahead and plug this into the cooler and plug it into our motherboard. So the plug-in's right over here. You're gonna go ahead and uh, plug that up. And then take this, and then plug this into your RGB header which is marked right there. And then there's an arrow right on this and you're gonna go ahead and just put that along with your RGB header. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna install our RAM into these slots right here. So if you look in your motherboard manual, it'll tell you which ones to go into, which one is a one or two, two or four. Most of the time it's one or two, but we're gonna go ahead and look into the man motherboard manual that came in the package and see where, we're gonna work, where it's gonna line up, okay? And as you can tell, we have it right here. It tells us where to install the RAM easy so that way you don't mess up and just as i suspected it is one and two there it is in the packaging oh my goodness look at it <sighs> beautiful as you can tell on the ram there is a little notch in the ram if you could look at the board there's a little notch as well and all you do is line it up and pop it in there also make sure to take these off there's a little like lever this side obviously does not move so we're going to go to this side and you would put this side in first as well I'm just gonna go ahead and pull that back and pull this one back right there. And then we're gonna take our RAM, line it up into the hole. Again, I'm sorry, but that's what she said. Uh, <laughs> there we go. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna push it down and then it's clicked, it's in. My goodness, isn't that easy? Look at that. Bam, she's in there, she's ready to rock and roll, boys. So like I said, this is the first time I've used an M.2 Samsung, but I do know how to install them. It's not hard, like I said. Even if you've never uh, built a computer, you can build it, trust me. What we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to put that M.2 right here, if you can look. Look right there, you see that right there? That's where we're gonna install it. We're gonna install this on the motherboard right now because that's where it goes. Bam, look at that. All right, and this is what it's gonna look like when you take it out of the box. Oof, my goodness, the packaging, flawless. Look at that, there it is, take it out of the, box off oh, my goodness it's little just little little buddy a little tiny little buddy look at that wow now to do this get a little screwdriver it's gonna get it's gonna come with this sometimes they don't come with this but this motherboard definitely came with this this little protector for the m.2 and we're gonna have to put one of these on there little screws comes with it as well it'll come in like a little baggie we're gonna go and screw that in for our m.2 because that's where it's, it's our standoff so first off, we're gonna come in and see where it goes, see how far it goes in. So let's do it like that. All right, so it's gonna go to this little third screw right here. We're gonna screw that in. So once the little standoff is installed, you're gonna take your about two. You're gonna enter in at like an angle, like a 30 degree angle. I don't know my angles. You're gonna enter it in like that. Give it a little push, it slides right in. Makes a little sound. Get your little screw that you took off when you installed the standoff, and you're gonna go ahead and screw it down. It is. It does look weird, right? It does look weird, but to, don't worry. This is totally normal. We're gonna just slightly put that down. You're just gonna screw it in. Bam! Look at that. So this accessory kit came with the uh, case, and I gotta say, I've never really bought an expensive case. Like I said, this is the first time I actually went out and bought an expensive case. But my God, this was actually really neat. You know? Look at this. You hear that? You hear that? Dude, how cool is that? I use this for fishing. <laughs> it's super cheap and anything, but it's just only, I was like, hey, that's a little cool. I'm gonna keep my screws in there. You know what I mean? Little the screws, I usually just put them in a box, throw them in a closet. Yeah, this is super cool. Love this, love this. All right, so this is the case. This is the Fantex P500A, I believe. Um, it is fancy, it has the doors with the hinges, the boots with the fur. Uh, it's hard to open from the, uh, bottom like this, but there we go. If you look inside it, look at it, fancy. Usually the uh, door just comes right off with some screws. And if we look into here, this is the next step to make sure we're ready to go. Most of the time you'll see is that uh, 
the those right there are standoffs for your motherboard. You're gonna need those. And a lot of times they're already installed with the, a lot of cases nowadays. Even the cheaper cases, those are already installed. So we're gonna go ahead and put our motherboard in this. But before we put our motherboard in, right back here, we're gonna put our IO shield in. So let's go ahead and get the IO shield and let's put it in there. Go ahead and take the IO shield out. This is the IO shield. Comes in your motherboard. If you got a fancy motherboard, maybe it's already on there. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and line this up right here and make sure it's connect. It's matched with your motherboard. You know, when you're gonna put your motherboard in here, it's gonna match up with this IO shield right there with the hookups. And I'm just gonna go ahead and slap it right under there. There we go. Bam. So we're gonna get our motherboard. We're gonna look for the standoffs. We're just gonna go ahead and put our motherboard in there. So we're gonna take our wonderful case here, we're gonna open this up, and the M.2 screws, a lot harder to open, are gonna be in here. They're gonna look like that, little tiny, tiny screws that go in. You just put them in right here, don't tighten them all the way to start going, you know, start right here, tighten right there, just like how you would change a tire, tighten right there, tighten right there, right there. You know, just make sure it's even and out, you know? Like I said, I've never installed an M.2. Most of the time, the M.2s have a thing, but this M.2 is gonna connect to the um, motherboard. Not necessarily, but this right here is gonna connect right here, and you're just gonna go ahead and put that right there. It's gonna screw in, it's so crazy. We're gonna go ahead and put this, it comes with there, we're gonna screw that into the little motherboard slot, then that's what you're gonna screw in. Once that little standoff is on there as well, we're gonna go ahead and take this little plastic off right here. Take off that little thermal compound. Uh, let's go ahead and put that on there. So like I said, this is what you'll screw into once it's on there. It has a little standoff for this thing. You'll screw, you'll screw it as you can see it stood off. And as well as the little uh, motherboard screws. Screw those in. There's nine on this motherboard right there. Down here as well. And that's in. This whole thing is set and secured. Now it's time for the power supply. I know what you're thinking about the cables up here too. It's wild, right? Don't worry about that. We're going to cable manage at the end of the build. But right now, boys... It's looking good, and I'm very excited. <laughs> so power supply time. We're gonna go ahead and open it up. Oh my God, looky there. Go ahead and do that right there. There's your power cable right there. If you didn't know, there is your motherboard cable, uh, SATA cables, tons of other cables. This is a fully modular uh, um, power supply, so. It is connected to nothing. Look at it. She's a beauty. Oh my goodness. My first actual fully modular. I've never went fully modular before. I always went semi or, uh, you know, not modular at all. Um, some zip ties right here. And then the screws to screw her in. So there we go. Still this aside and let's get it going. So what we're going to do now is we're going to turn this around, take the back panel off so we can get to the behind the scenes in the back. Back there. Like I said, this is a very giant case and the reason it's giant is because this can actually fit two computers in here a motherboard and then you can put another motherboard on the side and you know i thought why not let's do it let's try it out oh but now that i'm doing it i'm kind of like wow this is maybe i went overboard but like i said it's free real estate and screws all righty there we go bam she comes off like that um let's go take these off though so that way we've got room we can show you without all this cables being right here, which there is a lot of cables. Like I said, this is a big case. Um, also, if you're seeing, like hearing the vocals, this case is so big it's blocking my mic, which is right over here. All right, so um, power supply. So as you can tell, everything has a spot to go. You plug it in where it needs to go. Um, we got the CPU, we got the motherboard. Uh, we'll put the peripherals on afterwards, but let's go ahead and get the CPU and everything else hooked up right now. So on this one, I have a 10-pin motherboard. So we're gonna go ahead and separate these two. These separate so you can separate them, and then go ahead and put those in because we're only gonna need four of these notches. And the label right here shows the label CPU. This is not gonna connect to your power supply. The one without the label is gonna connect to the power supply, and you're gonna plug it in right down here. Where is the CPU? CPU to CPU. It's easy, guys. It's easy. All our cables are here, and they're sleek, and they're ready to rock and roll. So. You might think that on this case you need to put it in sideways. That's not the case. It doesn't fit what this has right back here because it's a little fancy case. We're going to go ahead and move it. Oh, look back there. If you can see, it has two little notches. Move it a little closer. We're going to unscrew these. I can't because it's fucking factory and I can too, too weak. We're going to unscrew these suckers. 
I plugged in the peripherals. It looks like a lot of cords, but we're gonna tuck those away afterwards. We're gonna go ahead and put all these in here, slide them through. These are some thick cords I might add as well. Now, make sure the fan is facing the bottom because there's a little slot on the bottom. We're gonna put that in right there. Four o'clock in the morning. So the power supplies in. What do we do now? We plug everything up. We plug the motherboard into the power. We plug the power into the motherboard. We plug the case into the motherboard as well. Let's get it going. So I'm gonna organize this as best as possible. Obviously, this powers the uh, motherboard. It's a 24 pin uh, cable. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna route it from here into there, right as you can see right there. And we're gonna put that on the other side. And then we shall plug that into the motherboard. Put that right there. And for the CPU, Let's see, where's the CPU at, right here? Yes, here's the CPU cable. We're gonna go ahead and route that through the top of there, because that's where the CPU power is gonna be. All right, we're gonna put that one there. We're gonna need two of these, because this is uh, a 10 pin, so let's go ahead and get the other one. It's hiding in here somewhere. Also, I'm making sure that I get the uh, stuff right. The other one's right here, because it's right beside each other. So that way, it's kinda, you know, the cables are already naturally managed and naturally in there. So as you can tell, the little 24 pin is right there. Here is the motherboard power supply to power your motherboard. Just go ahead and plug that right in right there. It'll click. Forgive me, I have to uh, put this down. So that way, it'll get two hands on this. Now as you can see, back there, there is the CPU power. We're gonna take this, uh, and the other one is over here. We're gonna take these and plug these in as well. Clean power supply, or clean power cable back there. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and pull this one out. And remember I told you, it only takes a 10 pin, so we're gonna go ahead and separate these two right there. Um, we're gonna go ahead and fold this one back like that. And we're gonna go ahead and put this one in right there in the back. I'm sorry if you can't see very well. Bam, there it is, look at that. It's in. He's in, power supply, both cables are in there. Bam, so it's such a wonderful drive, look at there. We have the hard drive right here. We're just gonna go ahead and slide it in, and then there's little screws that come with the case. As you see, I showed you the cool case, the things right there, and if you look closely, it lines up in the screw holes right there. There's some screw holes in there. Now you're gonna get the screws. They're gonna look like that right there. Bam, she's ready to go in there. Like I said though, I only got one hard drive, so I'm only gonna use one. We're just gonna go ahead and slide that in. It has a little click as the same one. There it is. The click is in, we're ready to go. What you're gonna do is gonna plug your power supply for your peripheral into here. So what we're gonna do, it's gonna look like that right there. You're gonna go ahead and plug it in to this right here. Bam. She's plugged in, just like that. So the next thing we're gonna do, as I told you, this is your SATA cable. We're gonna go ahead and plug that up right there. So if you look like that right there, you're gonna have a lot of SATA cables right there. And this is where your SATA plugs into. You're just gonna plug it into one of these babies right here. Bam, there it is. She's ready to work. All right, so we're in the back of this. So all these extra cables, these are the case cables. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go ahead and grab all these cables, and you're gonna run them through this slot as well. The same with what you did with your power supply to your motherboard. So go ahead and run these to the other side. So if you can see on the motherboard, it says like USB 3. There's USB 3 on this one. And down here it has a HD audio. So when you get the cables, all the cables should be labeled what they are, like USB 3 and there's HD audio down there. So just go ahead and bring the cables to wherever you want to and plug them in to where they're labeled. So HD audio obviously goes with HD audio. And then same with RGB lights, they'll be down some here. So just plug everything where it needs to go. All right, so as you can see, maybe not, it says audio right there. And it also has a missing pin. Same with this right here, this is your audio. Like I said, just connects Pretty much, you just connect what it says to what it says on the motherboard. And then just go ahead and plug that in. Same with these, these are fans for your case fan. You can plug that in the system fan one. And this is your, obviously your USB port. So you plug that straight into the USB as well. All right. Let me see if I can, I'm blocking out the light. You'll plug that in right there. And as you can tell, this is what it looks like. All the fans are plugged in, the audio, the cable switches down here. Um, this is all it. It's what it's gonna look like when you plug it them all up and they're all ready to go.
So now we're to the final part of the build. I had to, and the reason why the audio on this might not sound as good is because I had to take apart my PC. My old PC, that is. This is the graphics card, the GT uh, X. 1070 I had for my other PC, so that's why I'm not recording with my mic I'm just gonna be just straight audio from here, and this is the easiest part of the build So we're gonna go ahead and go right over here and If we look at the motherboard, there's gonna be a slot fits this thing right here perfectly This is what you're gonna do. You're gonna go ahead and just put that back You also have to measure you go ahead and put your graphics card in there if you want to Go ahead and measure you know you can see where it is right there on the side you can see how much it's going to take up when it goes in, see how many you have to take off. I think I have to take off just two of them. So right there, just take off two of them, go ahead and do that, and then we'll just slide it on in there. So then, I just go ahead and slide it in like that. And she's in there. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and take your PCI cables from your power supply and plug it into your motherboard. Do this, plug this together, and it's okay if you have an extra set, this is just more for more powerful graphics cards. Go ahead and plug that in right there. Let's see. There we go. And then what a lot of people do is just, they'll just, you know, <clears throat> zip lock that in right there. And then, booyah! This PC is ready to go, baby. Alrighty, now is the final thing. I think I have the switch on correctly. Oh shit, I don't know. We better find out. Oh. There she goes. Those fans are going off. I don't have the RGB lights on those because uh, still so gotta wire those up, but the PEC is flowing. She's on. She's ready to go. Look at it. Oh my goodness. So now that the PC's on, it's all in working order, you're gonna have to install Windows 10 with the USB flash drive. Now, Windows 10 is free on the internet. There's gonna be tons of videos where you can get Windows 10 for free because I'll teach you how to do it. And you have to download to a flash drive. This is a big flash drive, 64 gigabytes. You can do it with the 32, but download it to a flash drive and plug it into the PC and then turn it on and it will go to this screen right here. There will be a link in the description for a tutorial on how to do this. All right, so here we are in the Windows startup section. You're gonna go ahead and just hit enter on 64-bit, load the files. All right, when we get to this, you're gonna hit next for US, install now. Now, if you have a license key, go ahead and put your license key in, but I don't, so I'm gonna say I don't have a product key. I'm gonna go Windows 10 Home, next. Accept terms and agreements, yes. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna just custom install Windows uh, only, that's all. And then you're gonna go ahead and select your 500 gigabyte SSD that you have installed, and that's what you're gonna to wanna to install to the SSD only. Don't install it into the hard drive, install it into the SSD. Now that your PC is on and running, Windows is installed, we're gonna go ahead and get your second hard drive to show up as well as get the right drivers for your computer. So, okay, so now that your PC is on and everything, you probably started up, and if you do have a second hard drive, you probably noticed that it's not there. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go to your search bar and type in disk. Now with just typing in disk, it'll, it'll pop up saying create format hard disk partitions. You're gonna to wanna to click on that. It's gonna pop up with this, you're gonna click OK. Now there is your hard drive. What you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna right click in the box, click New Simple Volume, and then just go ahead, and you can name it whatever you want to, just click Next. And once you're done with all this, it's ready to go. Now in the beginning of the video, remember the disc I said don't worry about? Well, this is what we're gonna do. So you're gonna go online. Now the motherboard of your, whatever your motherboard you choose, just go to their website. You're gonna look for your motherboard. So go ahead and look up for it, and when you find it, you're gonna to come to a page that looks like this. It'll have driver, you're gonna go ahead and click on that, click on Windows 64, and it'll have all these drivers. You're just gonna to to go ahead and download all of them into your downloads folder. Now once it's done, go to your downloads folder and extract them. Now once it's done being extracted, go ahead and click on it, and it should have like a little guy every time you click on it, it'll say set up, install. And just go ahead and click install and then do that for every single one of them, and it, your, all your drivers will be ready to go. Now that we're all done, this is the best part. It's time to check what this PC can do, let's go. Hey, you! Ah! Really? 
I hope you didn't shit yourself. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned a little something about PC building. I hope you can see now it's not as crazy as it is for all the people who've never built a PC, and it's super fun. Hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you next time. <laughs>